Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and in honor of my mother-in-law turning 100 years old on November 27th, I'm making Portuguese rice pudding. It's a traditional Portuguese dessert, very similar to what we make in my culture, which is arroz con leche, and I think you're really going to love it. First, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel, and let's get cooking. For years, my mother-in-law spoiled us by making her famous Portuguese rice pudding every time we visited. And we, of course, loved it because there's nothing like her rice pudding. I can't guarantee that I make it like her, although I did try to pay attention when she made it. This is just my attempt. Now, I'm using one and a half cups of jasmine rice. You'll be fine with any kind of short grain rice. You just don't want to do the long grain. You'll also need four cups of whole milk, one stick of butter, one cup of sugar to start. We may add a little more, it just depends on how sweet you like your rice pudding, but start with a cup and then we'll taste it later on and adjust. You'll also need two pieces of fresh lemon rind. If you don't have a fresh lemon, go ahead and use two teaspoons of lemon extract. You'll also need one stick of cinnamon, two egg yolks, and some additional powdered cinnamon for garnish. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to place four cups of milk into a large saucepan and set the burner to medium high. As it begins to warm, I'll add in the lemon rind, the cinnamon stick, the butter, and the sugar. And I'm just going to stir until the butter is all melted and the milk is heated. Then I'll add in the rice and lower the heat so that it cooks at a low simmer for about 30 minutes or until the rice is fully cooked. If the liquid is all absorbed before the rice is fully cooked, just add a little more milk. I pretty much babysit this the whole time and stir continuously because that's what my mother-in-law used to do. And you can see that we're getting close. It's really starting to thicken up nicely. Once the rice is fully cooked, I'll take the egg yolks and whisk them together real quick. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of the hot rice and mix it into the egg yolks. Then add a little more and mix until the temperature of the eggs matches the temperature of the rice. very important that you temper the eggs and bring them up to the temperature of the rice pudding before you pour them into the rice because if we had poured the eggs directly in, we'd be left with scrambled eggs. Once all the egg yolks are mixed into the pudding, let it cook on low another five minutes then take the rice pudding off the burner and remove the cinnamon stick and lemon rind. At this point, you'll want to test for sweetness and add more sugar if necessary. That's good. Sweet enough. I'm adding just a little more milk because it dried out just a bit more than I wanted it to. So about a fourth of a cup, not much. You can add as much as you want, depending on how thick you like it. There, that looks a little better now. This is pretty much done. My mother-in-law would always pour the uh, rice pudding into shallow dishes. I'm not sure why. I think it had something to do with allowing it to cool and set faster. But uh, at any rate, I'm going to do the same here. She would even use plates. This 
thing is heavy. Pour the rest here. Good. So now we just sprinkle some cinnamon on top or we use the cinnamon to make a little uh, decorative topping onto our rice pudding. you have it portuguese rice pudding it's a simple dish with simple ingredients but it feels special because of how delicious it is now i'm going to take a taste but i'm going to ask my husband to come out from behind the camera and join me because he is the rice pudding connoisseur oh man i've been just dying to try this one mm. rich creamy cinnamony you nailed it so do you have enough lemon? Perfect. When my mom used to make it, sometimes it's lemony, sometimes it's less, but oh, it just brings back memories. It's so good. Awesome. Well, we're actually hoping to take her some because we're going to fly out to see her the morning of her birthday. Hopefully we'll make it through TSA or else we have to check a bag. But uh, we're hoping that she likes this, maybe even more than her birthday cake. What do you think? Oh, she's going to be surprised. And we if, hope you like this too. We don't eat it all. <laughs> right. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.